Watsu or water shiatsu is a pioneering and phenomenally growing form of aquatic bodywork that began in 1980 when Harold Dahl started applying the stretches of Zen shiatsu while floating people in the warm pool at Northern California's Harbin Hot Springs. In the years since, with the help of students, other instructors, and professionals from related fields in countless classes, spas, and clinics around the world, Watsu has evolved into what many believe is the most significant advance in bodywork in our time. While virtually every other modality uses touch to connect the practitioner with a client, Watsu allows for a significantly deeper connection through the holding that working in water necessitates. The practitioner cradles the client in his or her arms and creates a physical and emotional environment of total safety and trust. With that trust as a framework, the closeness of the person-to-person contact combines with the deeply relaxing effects of warm water, the freedom it gives the spine, and the therapeutic nature of Watsu's moves and stretches. The result is a bodywork modality of extraordinary depth, which can have both specific therapeutic results and profound healing on many levels of a person's being. Besides finding countless applications in therapy and in spas around the world, Watsu is bringing new connection into the lives of many who are sharing its simpler moves with family and friends. In a typical session, harmonizing the receiver and giver's breathing with each stretch and the gentle rising and falling of the body in water leads into deeper and deeper levels of relaxation. Moments of stillness alternate with moves that free the body in ways impossible on land. The experienced Watsu practitioner chooses from a wide range of positions and proven sequences those that will be the most effective and appropriate. At the same time, he or she listens for and follows whatever tendencies to move arise from within the receiver, welcoming each opportunity to move into a creative free flow. Typically, at the end of a session, no matter how much might have been encountered and let go during the session, the receiver feels a deep, an extremely satisfying sense of completion. My name is Lynette Jameson. I'm an occupational therapist in Phoenix at the Maryville Samaritan Health Institute. Currently seeing anywhere between 100 and 150 people a day. Um, the company I work for is quite large. We're uh, the largest healthcare provider in Arizona. I brought Harold Dole here to our facility for Watsu training one and two for our entire staff. We, Im- we trained 30 rehab employees with the Watsu one and two technique. Since that time, our use of Watsu has gone up significantly. Currently, we're treating a variety of patients, patients with fibromyalgia, arthritis, um, patients that have had a stroke, chronic pain patients, people that have back injuries. In addition to those, we even work with some psychiatric diagnoses, uh, people that have gone through a rape, women particularly. Uh, And we find that Watsu helps bring them to terms with their current diagnosis and helps them get through some very difficult times. From a pain management perspective, we find that the Watsu can relieve pain. Um, initially, when we first introduced Watsu, those that have chronic pain uh, feel relief for about 24 hours after the first Watsu. Um, after two or three weeks of having a regular Watsu, uh, we find that the, the benefits from Watsu are, are longer lasting. They can last as long as a week for pain management and more. For those that have range of motion problems, we use the Watsu to increase joint mobility and joint integrity. In addition to that, we're using Watsu with those that have psychiatric problems. We find that just by the nature of Watsu that we're being nurturing and caring and there's something about just the way we hold someone during a Watsu and we get lots of benefit from it. 
My name is Tovia Stuchiner and I'm the director of the Williams Island Aquatic Therapy Center, Israel. We give more than 2,000 aquatic therapy sessions per month. We specialize in pediatrics. I find Watsu to be a very strong therapeutic tool. The combination of vestibular sim stimulation, rotations, and freeing the spine are very effective in reducing muscle tone and increasing range of movement in cerebral palsy children. Other children with developmental disabilities benefit from the close, tender, caring holding, which is so important for every child. Besides Watts' value as therapy for the growing number of conditions clinics use it for around the world, more and more spas find their clientele drawn both to its power to reduce stress and its potential for personal growth. Watsu can affect every level of our being. It can help release trauma that has been stored in the body for years. It is rebonding therapy and can help heal deep wounds of separation. Being floated heart level and breath connected can help the heart recover emotions the brain is obsessing on or repressing and let them go into the flow. In the emptiness we sink into together at the bottom of the breath, is our oneness, and in the stillness that follows movement, the stillness that moves. Because more levels than can be kept track of can be accessed during a watsu, the watsuer is trained to just be with the person in his or her arms, to not try to do anything to them, to not try to rebirth or mother, or process them, to not interrupt a session to ask what tears in someone's eyes might mean, whether they are the sorrow at not being held this way before, or joy, or both. They, too, are just water flowing into the emptiness. Learning to be with another this way becomes a practice, a meditation, that can benefit anyone who follows us into the water and picks up someone in their arms. For this reason, besides developing trainings that prepare practitioners for whatever they might find in a professional practice, we have developed a basic watsu that anyone can learn in a weekend and practice over and over with family and friends without exhausting its potential. Its focus is on grounding in water, connecting breath, and letting the water do everything. This can be followed by up to three additional and equally complete stages that each incorporate and expand what was taught before. The transition flow, the rest of Watsu 1, expands the basic flow. In Watsu 2, the expanded flow integrates more detailed bodywork and stretches. In Watsu 3, the culmination of their program, students learn to share the power of their creativity in free flow. These courses, which have evolved over the last 20 years with the help of instructors and students in countless classes, are taught around the world by instructors registered with the Worldwide Aquatic Bodywork Association. This nonprofit, WABA, owns and operates the school at Harbin Hot Springs, where aquatic bodywork was born, develops books and videos for this newest healing art, and posts and maintains the registry of our worldwide water family. To find practitioners, instructors, classes, and more about the forms of aquatic bodywork, visit our site, waba.edu. Our goal is a world in which everybody holds and floats each other in their arms. Home Spa Watsu has been developed to make the benefits of Watsu available to more people. It can be done in a spa or hot tub in which the temperature has been lowered to body temperature. A home spa's benches provide support for powerful holds and stretches. Those who experience both forms contrast the expansiveness they experience in a larger pool watsu with the deeper going within they experience in the closer quarters of a spa.